Okay, so task three. Um, as the text says, log into slides.google.com if you're not already in there, um, or go back to slides.google.com, which takes you back to kind of this slides dashboard. Uh, and you can see the previously made um, presentation, which we did for task two, is sitting there. And as I mentioned, uh, whilst creating that, I called it GS task two. And as you can see on the screen here, this is GS task two. So as you build up more presentations, they would appear as kind of a thumbnail view on this sort of dashboard. So task three, we want to change the theme and add some transitions. Transitions are the kind of the action or the movement when you move from slide one to slide two to slide three. So you can add an animation. So what we're going to do first of all, we want to load this previous presentation. So I had to double click on that and here we go it's now loading the GS task 2 and as we hadn't made any changes to any of the slides we still see slide 1 on to add a title and a subtitle but what we want to do for this task is change the theme and add some tra transitions and as we can see across the top here where I've got the, the mouse we've got a layout theme and a transition so to change theme what I'm going to do is click the theme button and again as we when we created this we've now got these themes being shown in front of us and if I scroll down we can see there's a, any sort of number of themes um, if you had access or someone gave you themes or you found some themes you liked on the website after having a Google search uh, you can also import themes here but what we're going to do for this we're going to stick to these themes that are made available to us here and I'm going to go for one that's a bit colorful uh, this steps one so all I do is click on steps and click OK. And what you'll notice as that slide we've got here has now been changed and all the subsequent slides that we add to this presentation as we go through the different tasks will all have this look and feel to them because the theme uh, has all the fonts, the colors of the, the text and everything, all the images are all kind of embedded in it. So as you add new slides throughout it, they will all look like this. What's nice with themes is if you've got a presentation that's got say 10 slides in it, if you actually decide you didn't like it, you can go back to theme and choose another one. Um, this time I'm going to go for sketched and click OK. And that would then filter down and change every slide that you had in there. So you don't have to do them one at a time. Making that theme change changes every slide you've got in your presentation. So ones you'd previously made would all change and any future ones you add to it will also have the new look and feel to it. So that's themes. And now transitions, which as I mentioned earlier, are the kind of the actions or the animations between movements of your slide. So when you move from slide one to slide two to slide three, etc. So all we're going to do is click on transition. This pops up this little menu to the right. And currently we have no transition set. And what you can do, obviously, is where it says here, apply to all slides. You are able to have a different transition for a different slide. So moving from slide one to slide two could do one animation. Moving from slide two to slide three could be something different. But you want to be very careful, and we would advise kind of against that, just because it can get a bit messy and a bit lost when you have different animations happening. So we tend to stick with one transition for all slides. So what, how we do that is we click on the little downward arrow, and these are the transitions. You can have fade, so one fades into the other. You can slide them in from the right to the left. They can flip in or cube or gallery in. But I quite like using the cube transition. So if I click on cube, I can click play it so I can get to see what it looks like. So it's now giving me a demonstration of the slide changing. So I just need to remove the right alarm. And again, here you can choose the speeds of how quickly things change. So I just can click stop that preview and you can adjust the speed here up and down to medium to fast. I quite like it in that sort of medium to fast area. What I'm going to do is add that one cube transition to all slides. So again, I click apply to all slides. And what that would do is every slide I add in future or any I previously had, it would overwrite any changes I've made before and make sure that that cube transition is now on all slides. Okay, thank you.